Better? Worse? We're going to put 25 years of pro wrestling on the scales today and see how it all balances out. It's next, until we make it. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. If you are passionate about the craft of professional wrestling and you're never done learning all about it, then you've landed in the exact right place, my friend. What are you waiting for? Go ahead, join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe right now. I broke into pro wrestling back in the mid-90s, and so that provides me with a unique perspective on current day pro wrestling. It provides me with a variety of unique perspectives, but the one that's gonna be important to today's video is this. It's the ability to compare and contrast pro wrestling of today against pro wrestling of 25 years ago. And so I wanna break apart the topic of whether or not pro wrestling is now better or worse than it was 25 years ago. And you probably won't be surprised to discover as I work through my list today, it's a little of column A and it's a little of column B. There's a lot of ways in which wrestling today is better than it was 25 years ago. And you might be shocked to learn there's a bunch of ways in which it's worse than it was 25 years ago. And I want to try and do justice to both sides so that I don't sound like old man ranting about that ball being in his yard again and covering everything in that disgusting glaze of false positivity. So let's break it all down. Before we dive in, would you please leave a like a palooza on today's video? I can't be waiting all that long into the video to ask for this crucial engagement signal or it's not paying off. So help me out, would you? Go on. Thank you. Ready? Here we go. When I sat down to make this list for you, the first thing that popped up in my mind, the first way in which pro wrestling of today is better than it was 25 years ago was this. So I don't know what this says about my personal experience in pro wrestling. Nevertheless, I think it is the great reduction of destructive ribs played in locker rooms. Things are way better now. You don't have guys gluing your boots to the floor of the locker room, taking a padlock and closing your gear bag so that you either have to destroy your luggage or go buy bolt cutters to get in. Cutting holes in the back of your trunks so you don't realize it until you've put them on. I feel like those ribs used to happen all the time, everywhere, and thankfully, they're mostly gone now. And let's balance that out by talking about a way in which today's wrestling is actually worse than it was 25 years ago. Top on my personal list is the complete abandonment of what we will refer to as the tenets of kayfabe 1.0. There was a lot of value in the way we protected certain elements of mystique in wrestling that stoked intrigue and conversation. And because all of kayfabe 1.0 has simply been placed on the junk heap without further evaluation, I happen to think wrestling is actually a bit worse off now. Another way in which wrestling is better today than it used to be is in its understanding of the international styles, the international flavors of pro wrestling. I once worked for a guy back in the 90s who really said this to the entire locker room. I never want to see Luca Libra in my ring. There was a time when those international flavors found no understanding or appreciation or respect. In fact, they were faced with constant rejection. Perhaps the most glaring example of how pro wrestling today is worse than it was 25 years ago is everything social media. And I do appreciate the irony of me bringing that up in a YouTube video. That's not lost on me. Nevertheless, it isn't just the little things of social media, like the knee-jerk reactions and the hot takes and the constant whining on different platforms because everybody feels like, I've got a voice now and everybody needs to hear from me all the time. They don't. But really, it's the big things. None impacted me more than the tragic circumstances surrounding the passing of Hana Kimura. That was two and a half years ago, and I feel like the social media reckoning we all needed to have in the wake of that still hasn't happened. But for me personally, it dramatically changed the way I look at social media and its impact on my own life. Something I think is way better now than it used to be back in the day 
is the appreciation of our fans. It is becoming increasingly rare that you hear people talking about the dumb marks. The idea that we are somehow putting one over on the ignorant masses, taking their money, and running off to the next town like a bunch of carnies. There's a much greater appreciation for the fact that without fans, we don't get to do the thing that we love. And that was, by and large, absent from the equation 25 years ago. Here's the one I hear reflected back to me every time I am talking to coaches at other wrestling training centers. Today's wrestling is worse than it used to be because of a widespread sense of entitlement. The idea that wrestlers are owed stardom, that they are owed time in the ring, that they are owed a push or an angle or a storyline rather than going out and earning it. They think because they showed up to training or they paid their training dues that they are entitled to these things rather than being willing to go out and work for them. One way in which current wrestling is far better than the wrestling of 25 years ago that happens to be especially relevant to my own story is pro wrestling's overall acceptance of backyarders. This has a lot to do with the work Mick Foley and the Hardy Boys did as the Attitude Era went on because they were open in talking about their experience as backyarders before turning pro. And as a backyarder who became a pro wrestler, I can tell you there was a massive stigma, so much so that I went to ridiculous lengths to hide this in every locker room that I went to for fear of being beaten up and tossed out. One way in which today's wrestling is worse off is in its lack of true veterans in the locker room. Back in the day, it seemed like every roster had a handful of guys who'd been at it for 10 or 15 or 20 years who would dispense bits of knowledge from their broad experience to anyone that was eager enough to ask and brave enough to sit under their learning tree for a few minutes. And these days, it seems like anybody who's been poking around for four or five years can't wait to label themselves a veteran. Whereas, for any variety of reasons, the actual veterans are by and large gone. Current day pro wrestling is moving the needle in the right direction when it comes to gender equality. And as someone who spent a lot of time, effort, and energy in trying to influence that change in the right direction, I can tell you we are light years away. We are so much better off now than we were 25 years ago. I think one of the most prominent ways in which today's wrestling is worse off is the oversaturation of wrestling on a global basis. There is simply too much of it being made week in and week out, and all of it just blends together into a dull tableau. It doesn't remain distinct in the memory because by the time you've even analyzed or synthesized what just happened, the next thing is already waiting for you to consume. And I think this oversaturation hurts wrestling as a whole. One key way in which today's wrestling is better than yesterday's wrestling, and one that's near and dear to my own heart, is the overall higher visibility of independence. Back in the day, unless you were willing to scrounge through the results section all the way in the back pages of wrestling magazines, or you happened to be lucky enough to have a hometown independent that advertised where you could see it, your knowledge, your exposure to the independent circuit was virtually nil, and today, Thanks in large part to technological innovations, independents are more accessible on a global level than ever before. Last on my list, but certainly not least, is the lack of gratitude. This is worlds different from how things were 25 years ago when everyone couldn't wait to shake your hand and thank you for every single opportunity you gave them in pro wrestling. These days, everyone is so willing to make their self-congratulatory post thinly masked as a message of appreciation with hashtag grateful on it, but the reality behind the scenes in wrestling is there is less gratitude for the people who provide you with opportunities and platforms than ever before. When I get together with other true veterans of the game, this one comes up time and time again. So there it is. That's my list of the ways in which wrestling is better and worse than it was 25 years ago. Is there something I missed? Something you got to get off your chest? Tell me all the things down below in the comments right now. Appearing on screen is a roll call 
of all my awesome patrons. If you want to unlock tons of exclusives, if you want to support the work I do here at the Till We Make It channel, come join our community. Memberships start for as little as five bucks a month. And we would love to have you as part of the community. In addition to which, there's a video appearing on screen right now about veteran wisdom.